Hey guys, welcome back. Johnny at Emergency Medical Council bringing you the next video in our series of quick tips, tricks, and techniques you can take with you into the field. Today we're going to be talking about circulation. It's something you gotta know, and you gotta know well if you really want to understand all the different heart diseases, conditions, and treatments you're gonna encounter during this career. So in this video, we're gonna walk you through the 21 steps, explain it to you, and give you a couple pointers along the way. We're going to start our 21 steps with blood entering the inferior and superior vena cava, but that's by no means where circulation starts. It's a cycle. You have blood in all of these locations. But we're going to start here. The blood comes in the inferior superior vena cava and enters the right atrium. And from the right atrium, the blood goes into the right ventricle. But just like with chambers in a building, you can't go from chamber to chamber without passing through some sort of door. And in this case, that door is going to be the tricuspid valve. So the blood comes into the right atrium, through the tricuspid valve, into the right ventricle, through the pulmonary valve, and into the pulmonary artery. And from the pulmonary artery, what we need to do is get blood into the capillaries so that we can oxygenate it. But a capillary is way too small to connect to an artery. We need something to connect them, something like an arterial. And an arterial... The suffix O-L-E really just means a smaller form of, so an arterial is really just a smaller form of an artery, just like a venule here is really just a smaller form of a vein. So to recap, blood comes through the pulmonary artery, pulmonary arterioles, pulmonary capillaries, pulmonary venules, pulmonary vein, and back into the heart into the left atrium. From the left atrium, the blood is going to flow through the mitral valve and into the left ventricle. From the left ventricle, the blood is going to flow through the aortic valve and right at the root of the aorta, you have the coronary arteries, the arteries which oxygenate the heart. Blood's going to keep flowing through the aorta and enter the systemic circulation. So let's draw the blood coming out here, out the brachiocephalic branch of the aorta and into systemic circulation. It's going to come into the systemic arteries, arterioles, capillaries, venules, veins, and right back into the inferior and superior vena cava. So you can see that the steps of circulation are really just a cycle. We could have started this uh, video in the left atrium or in the systemic venules in the drawing would have come out the exact same. So to help remember all of this, I like to think of three separate circulations. And I think of the pulmonary circulation and the systemic circulation as essentially the same because the blood is going to always flow through an artery, arterial, capillary, venule, and vein every single time. And to think about the blood flow within the heart itself, I would use the saying toilet paper my assets to remember the order of the valves the tricuspid valve pulmonary mitral and aortic and if you know that you should be able to think of the chambers as well and lastly if i was going to take a test on the 21 steps of circulation at the top of my paper i'd write r l l s because the blood goes through the right side of the heart, into the lungs, back into the left side of the heart, and out into the systemic circulation. Right, lungs, left, systemic. So I hope this video uh, was very clear, easy to follow along with. If you have any comments or questions, please let us know in the comments section below. And if you like the video, please subscribe to our channel so you'll see all of the videos we release in the future. Like the video. And check out the link to our website in the description below. We'll see you guys next time.